This is where we are now. Oh, sorry. New Hanover. That's the state where we're in. So. It was like, where did I go to do the. Like, this is. Where was it? This is where our first camp was, like over here, I think. Uh, Horseshoe Overlook. And then this is where we are now in, in by roads. But then like the the place where we blew up the moonshine. I want to say it was over here, but maybe it was over here. Oh, the bayou. Yeah, I think it was over here. What does that say? Fishing spot? Anywho. Oh, the, there was the snapping turtle. So yeah, it was around here. So we didn't even go, like, down. We went across and somehow got to the bayou. But now we're in the Lemoyne area. And I don't know why these are winking at me. But that's okay. So this is Bill. And then John. Where's John? Oh, John's over here. Oh, we can still do John's? <gasps> oh, we can still do the greys. Okay, good, good, good. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, great. Let's do that. Let's go do John. Where am I standing? <sighs> yes. Overwrite. Whoa, that horse is so big compared to my little guy. Hey. Where did this horse come from? Whose horse is that? That is a large horse. Alright. I still don't know where Martha is. My poor Martha. I gotta find a stables. I feel like that's true. Martha's just gone. She went to go find fellow beautiful horses. Oh, I'm acting as a deputy? What's this? What's this question mark? What? <laughs> Sir? It's six o'clock in the morning. Are you what good? You you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. Oh, you look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? Who's they? A whole life. A whole way of living, a career. 
I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, <laughs> living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. That's what you get for drinking at 6 a.m. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Thanks as I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Oh, he's so kind, I Arthur. Can't Arthur, you're walking away from your horse. You still got a ways to go, my my good dude. My good buddy. Boy. Boy. This man, he understands. Boy. My horse. My Boa. Another question mark? Who the hell? Is it the man that punched me? No. This is not the man that punched me. Have I met this man before? You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? <gasps> I, I, am I sitting in the wrong place? Excuse what? me? I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. <gasps> you have yourself no! a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. No! How could you have offended me? I have no idea. <laughs> But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon? <gasps> Back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I, I will find this man's some wagon. Know it all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Yeah. Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He absolutely will. I'm going to just move this a little bit. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. All right, let's go to Macomb's End. I guess we will we will find John Marston later. Nope, this way. Come on, horsey. I hope it's not far. Arthur feels like a very reluctant hero. But I think I like that about him. He's an outlaw. 
But he doesn't like when people are sad. <laughs> He's got a big ol' heart under that big ol' scruffy face of his. I feel like I need to pick up more plants. I should also probably hunt some more. See, look, now we're in the bayou area. Damn it. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going all the way back where I was. Oh, okay. I'm going back to where the moonshine thing is. Almost ran over a bunny rabbit. Are you tired, horsey? I think so. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Uppity, ain't he? <gasps> you tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. You want us to whip you like we would your uppity chum? Go on. I like that my horse immediately start started pooping. All right, I'm gonna have to sneak around. Oh Jesus! Okay, I didn't move fast enough, I guess. Okay. That's fine. Jesus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Arthur. Is that it? Everybody else is gone? I was just deciding what I wanted to... Oh! What? He's running away. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, they messed up my stamina. How'd they do that? I'm gonna eat something. Health core. Health and stamina core on me. The properties of this herb are not quite known yet. What about baked beans? Just eat a sugar cube. A chocolate bar. Here we go. Oh, there's the wagon. I'm assuming. Oh, there's snakes here. Can I loot this guy? I guess not. Oh, gross. It's so muddy. Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. 
Okay, I have to tell Martha 2.0 to follow me. Wait, wait, wait. Martha? I think I gotta get off. And I have to say, hey, Martha. Follow. Come on, boy. And she... He might have followed on his own. But the last time I thought that, I lost Martha, the OG Martha. So we'll tell Martha 2.0 to follow me. Oh god. Are those turkeys or are they vultures? Oh, they're turkeys. I should catch one for Pearson. Coach incoming. Focus your fire. Oh, good god. Hits. A dad. Shooting on a wagon is not easy. I should get my shotgun out. Yeah. Oh! Easy. <laughs> Yikes. Come on. Go around. Yep. Martha, are you gonna follow? Nope. No! Stop aiming your weapon! Come, boy. His new boots are getting all dirty! Okay, now I know I have to shoot those guys, so maybe I uh, just pick them off. Coach incoming. Focus your fire. You saw. I'm so sorry. Oh. Enjoy your last moment alive. Yep. Oh my god, they're still alive? Ah. Ah. How are you still alive? Ah. Jesus Christ. Who? How? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. He was an innocent bystander. Uh oh. My honor! No, I wanted to... Oh, yeah, loot, loot, loot. Shoot. Why? I didn't lose it. It was right behind me. God damn it. Where the heck am I? Where's Martha? There's Martha. Will Martha get here? Hello, cafe! Alright, Martha, are you gonna follow? Yep. Alright. Let's keep going and hope we don't find any more baddies. How you doing, cafe? 
Welcome to storytelling day. Oh god. More? No. These aren't baddies. Uh, storytelling day where we are raising funds for pancreatic cancer research partnered with Pank One Network. Oh, hard turn. Oh no. I will back you up in that fight. Thank you, Super Lewis, for the charity command. I don't know why my, um, my timers aren't working. Oh, there we go. There's the donate link. Uh, and the charity information, if you're curious. Uh, but I had, I had timers set, but for some reason they are not working. But pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest cancers with only a 10% survival rate. So with the funding of um, research for treatments, the hope is to hashtag raise the rate. And so people can survive and continue to live beautiful lives. I am ruining these people's flowers. Sometimes the wagon moves too fast, and other times it moves too slow. Ah, uh, you know this fella, don't you? I got your wagon! <laughs> Look who it is! I did not <gasps> count on seeing that wagon again. Cafe, no thank you very much. You won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. <laughs> but I can live in glorious hope. Yeah, it wasn't a trouble, now was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Yes, please. What you got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Oh. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything <clears throat> crying, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Oh, all righty. We found him his wagon. Mission complete. No good deed. Did I get gold? Alphonse Renaud, a traveling doctor, needs help recovering his medical wagon from a group of thugs. We did that. Okay, now we were going to go to John. I want to add a waypoint. Hello? There we go. Alright, we got distracted by doing good deeds. But now let's continue. And probably do not good deeds. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Betcha his name is Gavin. Beep beep. Yeah. Oof. Do you think they know that I burnt their... stuff? Horse Can flesh for dinner. Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. I was the troubles. I was the troubles.
Can we actually see them burnt? Yeah, look, they're all burnt in the background in the barn. Everywhere. It's attacked my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? <laughs> over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Oh boy. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. All righty, let's go. So with that hot sauce, we are now just halfway to our next milestone. Where for Crazy old for a cool if he fifty more dollars. His torched his tobacco crop. That was you. The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property. Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But. Get even a third of that, you'll be worth it. Uh, when we get you a hundred dollars raised, place is well guarded. you will chat will pick a number no between one and whatever number of fan fiction tabs I have open on my phone, and I will read an excerpt from that fan fiction. On horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Hello, Tom. Careful. There's a... I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well... I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Yeah, I'll I'll in. count how many tabs I have open. You'll get a number between one and however many. You'll pick. And uh I will read you whatever comes up. Could be embarrassing. Could be shameful. It could be smutty. It could be funny. It could be sad. You won't know until you get to a hundred dollars. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. 
think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front. Well, oh, that's the there. gazebo where we met that chick. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. All right, Arthur. Are you sure you're good for this? Arthur looks like he has skinny jeans on. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! Wow! We ain't officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. <laughs> if that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We Tom, thank you for $25. Stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. I don't want to kill him. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many. <laughs> uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay. <gasps> Bandana's on. Uh oh. I didn't want to kill him. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, easy, easy now. now. Easy there. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Oh, boy. What are you doing? Uh -oh. Let's go, quick. Get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these things! Stop! Oh, God. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Way. Out of the fields. Uh oh, I should probably use my gun. Uh oh. Watch it. There's guards by that wagon. Oh. We got more on horseback. Keep going. I'm coming. Shit. They blocked their way out! We'll have to go through the fields! Oh boy. Look there! Oh the god. The fence is down! Come on! Let's try to lose them in the trees! Uh, I'm not very good at shooting while on horseback. I think we're clear! Shotgun with a shotgun. Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Oh god. Keep going. I'll get him. Come here. Hey, hey. Are you kidding me? Come on now, boy. Yeah. There we go. Hey now. Come on now. 
What are you doing? Where are you going? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think it likes me very much. No! God damn it! Okay. I got him. What the fuck? <laughs> Martha! I know the horse is escaping. Shut up! me. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Hello, horse. Like, do I need to get on you? I don't understand. Go. No, yeah. don't go! Oh my god. What? I don't understand what's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I try and get close to him... I don't know where he's running. Yeah. Oh my god, stop running into him! Martha! He's pooping. Oh my god! It just says to lasso him. I don't think I can, like lead him anywhere. If I let go of... I don't have any stamina left. Yeah, Tom, please. Like, I can lasso him. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do after that. Do I just do this? It's so slow. My god. I'm a bad cowboy. Okay, yeah, you're right. 
Jeez Louise. What an adventure that was. Hey Morgan! Over here! I know. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Okay, I'm not gonna let go. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? Hello, Rally. Rally is attacking Garrus. You're not going anywhere, you fucking horse. Okay, fine. You stay there. Don't run away. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. No shit. John. Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. <laughs> Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're <laughs> twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. What? Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But. I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. <laughs> ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close Did they think they were going to get five grand for the three of them or five grand for each of them? That's a Leaving wicked difference. Spun us by one of that gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Well, I guess that's not so bad. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get the channel to 500 subs by the end of 2022 and your support would be so helpful. And just a reminder, if you wanna watch me live on Twitch, I stream Sundays, Wednesdays, and every other Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Thanks so much, bye.